Maganda morning sa ating lahat. Nakaganito ako dito, gaganyan mo na ako. <laughs> Thank you, Feli, for the alam pay. Nakalimutan ko yung alam pay. Morning po sa ating mga nasa market, ground floor, at nasa second floor. Nagmamadali ako kanina pagdating ko, sabi ko, ang ganda ni Marivic. Oh, halatang nalate ako. Tapos pag-akit ko sa second floor, ando na naman si Marivic. Hallelujah! Palapakan po natin ang Panginoon. The message of God is all over this building. Kaya lakasan niyo ang inyong sigaw. Baka sabihin nila, sampu lang sila sa taas. Hallelujah. And of course, good morning world. I know that some of our friends are listening to us in the US, in Belgium, Singapore, Doha, Qatar, Hong Kong, Pluto. <laughs> good morning. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. <laughs> Sige, kayo ay magpaganda muna. Tayo po ay mananalangin. Handa na po ba kayo para sa message na Lord for today? I'm so happy to be here. And I would like to encourage you to get your notepad, your cell phone. You have to be ready to receive the Word of God. But more than that, we should be ready with our heart. Amen? Sino po may puso dito? Sabi sa Bible, oh, guard your heart for it is the wellspring of life. So ang puso po natin ngayon ay bubuhusan ng Panginoon ng mga revelation and strength and faith. Praise the Lord, may sumisigaw dyan talagang bubuhusan ka ni Lord umpisa pa lang. Amen? And I would like to encourage everyone to just uh, expect big things from our God. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, we come to you. We are not listening to a word of a person. We are ready for your word. You have sent your word, Lord God, to solve our problems. You have sent your word to manifest in our lives. And Lord, right now we decree and declare that this region, this place is receptive of your word. We declare, Lord, that angels are marshalling in the boundaries of this place. In the name of Jesus and even in the online, Lord God, that your spirit is moving, oh God, across the air. Lahat po na nakakarinig ng iyong salita will be liberated for where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. We pray, dear God, for the mighty manifestation of your Spirit. And I pray, Lord God, that no one will leave this place sick, bound, O oh God, and heartbroken. Because you said in your word, Lord, that the anointing will break the yoke. You said, O oh God, that the anointing will heal the brokenhearted, will set the captives free, and declare the jubilee year of the Lord. Father, we bless you. We thank you. We honor you. We decrease, Lord, and you increase. Walk in this room, O oh God, because when you walk in this room, Everything is fine with us. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray that our ears are ready, oh God. Our spiritual ears are ready. Lord, we declare malakas ang pickup namin ngayon, Lord. Malakas ang frequency namin. Oh God, Lord, hindi po aandap-andap, Panginoon. Malakas ang connection in the name of Jesus. I declare that the open heavens in this place, oh God. 
I pray, O oh God, that you will deliver dreams today. Your deliver answered prayer today, O oh God. You will deliver, Lord, a revelation of your ideas today, O oh God, that will take us to the next level. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. When we say Amen, it means it is eternally done. Walang harang. Amen. Nag-amen kayo, tandaan nyo yan. It is eternally done. Walang haharang. Amen. I would like to welcome first the first-timers, second and third-timers. Pwede po bang tumayo sandali at i-welcome natin. First time, tumara po tayo sa congregation. Kaway-kaway po tayo, ang ganda. First time, palapakan po natin. Woo! Ayun, may bata rin. Thank you, you may be seated. This is not an accident. The Lord has already seen this day na ikaw ay uupo dyan at ako ay magpipreach ngayon. <laughs> Last week po ay nagpreach ang ating pastor tungkol po kay Zacchaeus. Sino po nandito ng Sunday? Amen? Si Zacchaeus po ay malit na tao. Si Zacchaeus po ay galit ang maraming tao. Pero ang kakaiba sa kanya, gusto niyang makita si Jesus. At tumakbo siya para lang makita si Jesus. Amen kayo. Paano kayo pumunta dito? Sumakaiba kayo ng eroplano? Nagising kayo na maaga para lang makapunta dito? Amen? So we know we are at the right place at the right time. Do you know that if you are not in the right place at the right time, it affects your destiny? May dinisign ang Panginoon na pupuntahan mo every day. May dinisay ng Panginoon na mga destiny-altering events in your life. Pag sinabi mong destiny-altering, papasok ka sa divine timing ng Panginoon when you are at that place at that time. And you have to be synchronized with God. Where you are, saan ka pupunta bukas? And we know that every Sunday, we are in the presence of the Lord. The Lord has designed this message for today. For you. Sabihin sa katabi mo, for you. Para sa iyo to. Niluto to sa heavenly realm for you. Amen? Are you ready? And I pray you will not waste anything. You will not sleep. You will not go to the CR. You will not be distracted. Amen? Because this has something to do with your destiny. Amen? Minsan, pag nakapila tayo sa embassy, nakapila tayo sa NSO, samantay nakapila, very important, ihingihin na tayo, pero pipigilin natin. Kasi baka bumalik ka sa likod. Amen? Sometimes, pag nagmamadali ka, di pa tapos ang service, nandung ka na. Wala pang opering, umatakbo ka na. Namimiss mo yung gagawin ng Panginoon. Naa-alter yung destiny mo. Amen? One second is important. One hour is important. So I, would, I am very establishing the boundaries here. Because ayo ng Panginoon may nasasayang sa kanyang salita. Ayon ng Panginoon may nagdadaldalan habang itinatanim ang kanyang salita. We are better than that as a people. No one is running around. We discipline our kids. Amen? Because the Word of God is being released. Amen? We are so Respectful of the presence of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. And all the time. Hallelujah. I would like to speak with you with this theme. Lumalabas ba? Ang nakikita ko yung sarili ko. Ayoko pong makita yung sarili ko. Gusto ko po ay ang salita ng Diyos ang makita. Ayan. Ang ating pong topic ay... Discovering your divine assignment. Sabihin nyo nga, divine assignment. Konti lang ang nagsalita kasi allergic kayo dyan. Naalala nyo yung teacher nyo. Naalala nyo yung calculus. Naalala nyo yung project. Naalala nyo yung mga kinopihan yung assignment. Yung mga hindi nyo ginawang assignment. Pero ito, hindi ang teacher ang nagbigay sa'yo. Hindi ito ang cell leader mo nagbigay sa'yo. Meron po tayong tinatawag na 
divine assignment. Itong assignment na to ay hindi para sa katabi mo. Hindi para sa asawa mo. Hindi para sa kapatid mo. Ang assignment ni Pastor Ates iba sa assignment ko. Walang ibang makakagawa nito kundi ikaw lang. Huwag mong sabihin yung anak ko na lang ang gagawa niyan. Yung anak ko na lang, no. You have an assignment. Can you tap the person next to you? You have an assignment. Naku, walang tinaps. Naku, bilisan nyo. You have an assignment. Sabi po sa Word of God, Ephesians 2 verse 10, For we, can you read with me? One, two, three. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared. When did God prepare? When? Hindi ngayon yun. Advance eh. For us to sleep? For us to text? For us to FB? For us to do. For us not to talk about. For us to do. When God said, let there be light, ang assignment ng light ay hindi mag-dim. Kaya pag ang sun, biglang do nag-dim, hindi yun yung assignment niya. Meron lang solar eclipse. Kasalanan yun ng moon. Water was made to wash us. To cleanse us. Yan ang assignment ng water. Pag naligo kayo at lalo kayong dumumi, hindi water yan. Mantika yan. Lahat ng kinreate ng Panginoon, please don't flash my face anymore, please. Just the word of God. Lahat ng kinreate ng Panginoon ay my divine assignment. Even the colors of the flowers have divine assignment. I learned lately Sang katerba ang colors po ng flowers, but the biologist, the botanist will tell you, may purpose po yung kulay. Kasi yung kulay ay assigned sa particular insect. Hindi po magpa-flower at magpo-pollinate ang flower kung hindi lalapitan ng isang insekto. At ang insekto ay meron lang po siyang design na color for him. So itong insecting to, lalapit lang sa dilaw, hindi siya lalapit sa purple. Kasi yung mata niya is not designed to go to that flower. Everything that God created, even sa detalye po, even the stars, imagine ninyo kung ang lapit natin sa Venus, it's the hottest planet. Imagine nyo kung napalapit lang tayo ng konti o napalayo lang ng konti, affected ang ating gravity. Sabi ni Max, Mommy, why do you think God made gravity? Hindi ako maka-fly like a bird. Sabi ko, anak, pag nagpupo ka, lulutang. Imagine, woo! Tapos pag nagwiwi ka, woo! Sabi ko, anak, matalino ang Panginoon lahat kahit invisible thing may detalye. Nung bata ako, nagre-reklamo ako kasi ang ate ko kang puti. Makinis ako po para akong unggoy. At ang itim ko, but I didn't realize until I got pregnant na ang ano ko pala, temperature ko, lamigin akong sobra. Kunting aircon lang pinapatay ko, kaya pala ako binigyan ng Lord ng fur. Ay, ate ko eh, hindi, in, nandun sa, nung white Christmas nila eh, hindi sinisipon eh. Di ba? Kasi talagang pang ano yata siya, no? Ako nagpunta sa Korea, Umuwi ako kasi spring pa lang. Nilalamig na ako. Paano pa ako dito? Baka matingkas ako dito. Paano ba gano? I already went. I had a chance to live in South Korea. It's free. Araw-araw. Amok sanim. Chips na naman sanim. Ako na ang tumatanggi. Pagod na pagod na akong kumain na naka-squat. <laughs> Lahat na masarap ng pagkain. Kung mahilig kayo sa labas ng labas, hindi ako homebody po ako eh. Hindi po ako lakwatsera. God did not make me that way. I love staying home. I love reading, ideation. I like, you know, thinking about things. And hindi po ako yung tiyo. Nung nagpunta po kami sa Singapore, lakad kami dun sa Paragon. Ano. Lahat ang saya. Sabi ni Pastor Gani, anong masama? Ano, pagod na ako. 
I am not fascinated by, I'm not so much fascinated by, iba-iba po yung ating divine design. Sabihin nyo nga, design. So, pag may ginawa ang Diyos, may purpose. Ginawa ng Diyos ang fish, built in sa fish ang mag-swim. Meron bang swimming school sa fish? When God said, let there be fish, talaga nagsuswim. May nakita ko ng fish na ayaw mag-swim. Built in sa kanya, mag-swim siya. Built in sa creation, when God created us, built in na mag tayo. Ang bird, built in mag-fly. When God made something, it's built in to succeed. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you're built in to succeed. You are designed. Wala sa disenyo mo. Ito po ay Apple, hindi ko pinopromote. Pero dinesign po to to be the number one iPad. Tama ba? Tama ba? Hindi ko pa nabila ng ano. Nung ginawa po to, may design po yan lahat. At pag po nasira yan, hindi ko pwedeng kalikutin yan. I have to put it to uh, deliver it, to have it repaired by an authorized apples. Hindi ko pwedeng gawin, dalin yan sa Cherry Mobile. We are created by God. And if there's something wrong with what you feel or think, ang sulu, da, wag mong dadalin sa FB. Wag ka mag-shout out. Konti lang ang nagsabi. Wag ka feeling depressed, feeling, why should the world know? Bakit mo kailangan ipaalam sa lahat ang pinagdadaanan mo? But you have to be a blessing. Amen? Kung whatever is true, whatever is good, whatever is praiseworthy, send those things. Hindi ko maintindihan. Amen? Because when God designed information, it's meant to be a channel of good information. It is a moral, it's neither moral or immoral. But as Christians, we know that we have to utilize all channels of information for the glory of God. Amen? Amen? So, lahat po ng ginawa ng Panginoon ay my design. And we are built in success. Nung ginawa tayo po ng Panginoon, meron na po tayong divine assignment to do good works. At ang work na ito, ang assignment na ito, magsasucceed ka. Minsan magtanong ka, ba't di ka nagsasucceed? Baka ang ginagawa mo, hindi yan ang pinagagawa ng Lord. Baka lang. Amen? If a fish tries to be a bird, it won't be successful. If a bird tries to be a kangaroo, it will not be successful. Kaya nga may mga, I believe, scientific experiments that is against the will of God. Pinagsasama-sama na nila yung mga genetic etc. Sama-sama na. Amen? Na hindi yun ang divine design. Kaya yung mga, I'm, well, nasa sa inyo yan, magpaganda kayo, pero if you put something in your body, na silicon yan, or hindi yan tama, that's not part of the design. Dahil gumustong lumaki. Mag-exercise ka na lang. I must, I must, I must do this. <laughs> I must increase. Ganun na lang. But if you put something Yung sobrang gusto mo mag-draw attention kung ano-anong ginagawa mo, pagtanda mo. Pag nilagyan mo ng mga tato ang katawan mo, tingnan mo, pagtanda mo, ang skin mo lahat yan, nakalagay sa Leviticus, huwag kang magpatato. If you don't want to say yes to me, but the Word of God says that, Leviticus 22.6, and all the needles, everything that will happen, you should teach it to our children. It's my children, mommy, everyone is. Minsan, dinodrawing ang panimax ng kung ano-ano niya. Ano. So I have to tell him because he doesn't know. Because our skin is not designed na maging designing canvas. Amen? Ay, ba't ba ako doon napunta? Kasi design eh, no? Wala yun sa aking ano. Which God prepared in advance for us to do. The more that we need to always come to church and always not miss a single cell group, not miss a single church day. Why? Because God is always revealing to us what you need to do, your strategy for your design. Can I hear an amen? Yeah. 
hindi ibibigay yan sa'yo ng Lord ng one time. Abraham was 75 when God gave him his divine assignment. Kung sinong gusto 75? KFC, 63 yata nung, binig- nung ginawa niya yung secret recipe. Nine times siya na bankrupt. Kasi 11 herbs and spices yun eh. Ten and a half lang yung spices niya. Na kompleto niya, no? So, God has prepared something for us. Kung ang magulang mo walang nakitang maganda sa'yo, hindi ka pinaghandaan. Ang Diyos pinaghandaan ka. Nalala ko tatay ko, mahilig yun, hihiga hapon. Dito ka nga, dito ako sa tabi ng kilikili. Kaya hanggang ngayon naamoy ko pa yung kilikili niya sa ulo ko. Yung smell, sabi niya, ano gusto mo paglaki mo? Hindi ko kasi alam ang gusto ko. Eh noon, basta nakaputi, panahon natin, lilet, no? Uso nun nurse, eh. Di ba? Sabi ko nurse. Takot na takot pala ako sa dugo. <laughs> Tinalang di ako nag-nurse, I will be fired. <laughs> ah! Gano'n ako may dugo. <laughs> so sabi ko nurse, sabi niya, mm-hmm. ganun lang siya. Sabi niya siguro, paano kaya ako magpe-prepare? Babalik na naman ako sa Saudi. <laughs> Nagsa-Saudi siya noon, eh, no? So parents prepare for our children but you know I have good news for you God has prepared something for us. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. May mga iniisip tayo diyan, may baby tayo doon si Ezra. I'm sure may iniisip silang pagpe-prepare diyan but you know nothing can beat God's prepared assignment for your kid. Ang ate ko po ay nag civil technology engineering. Amen. Yan ang na-prepare. <laughs> Yan ang kanyang ano. Iba ang pin-repair ng Panginoon. It's spiritual engineering. O, oh, palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Ang tindi, no? Envisioning, apostleship. God is greater. So, i-move na natin ito para mag-progress na tayo. So, you have a divine assignment. Kumbinsido na po ba kayo? Tinanong ako minsan ni Max. Lagi akong tinatanong doon. Nakakasaray ako ng katabi yun eh. Mami, what is your purpose? Sabi mo naman sa akin. Eh, anong, ano kayong sinagot ko? Sabi ko, to be your mom. Because you are a history maker. I see something. I do not care how he was born. I do not know. So sabi ko, I was called to be your mom. My purpose is to give birth to three wonderful history makers. Kunti lang ang nag-amen. Ba't yung mga nanay, nanay hindi nag-amen? Alam nyo ba nung pinanganak nyo yung anak nyo? Yan ay divine assignment. I am God. Basahin natin. One, two, three, go. I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times. What is still to come, I say. My purpose will stand and I will do all that I please. Ang kaibahan ng Panginoon sa sinasabi nila na ibang Diyos. Diyos ng Muhammad, Diyos ng anuman. Ang kaibahan niya, makinig ka, sinasabi niya. God starts after He finishes. God finishes first before He starts. Ginaya po yan ni Stephen Covey. Begin with the end in mind. Ang Diyos, bago niya gawin, inisip niya muna yung outcome. Amen. Yung makeup mo. Minsan kung ano-ano lang ako, kung ano-ano lang nangyayari, hindi ko rin alam paano ko. Pero yung iba, alam na nila kung anong effect ang gusto nila. Kung gusto nila naluluha, namamaga, Ako basta pare-pareho lang, gano'n lang. Ganun lang. <laughs> I am God, there is none like me. I make known the end from the beginning. As far as God is concerned, it's already done. Ang laki po ng problema ko nung namin, nung mga three, four weeks ago. In fact, for... The, since January dun sa aming school because I'm a school principal magpapa-approve po kami ng, magpapa-re-inspect po kami ng STEM track dahil po na-disapprove deferred status po dahil hindi pinayagan yung aming lab 
they really required yung three laboratories. And then, ang dami pong problema. Pero every time I pray, I always tell the Lord, Lord, as far as you are concerned, it's already, it's already, alam nyo, inistay lang ko po yung DepEd last year. Nang hiram ako ng mga gamit sa Christian College of Tanawan, ang gaganda, para sa setup ko. Pero hindi po kalooban ng Lord. Kasi gusto niya po ay bago. Kaya yung lab material lang po namin is 1.7 million. Ipopost ko po. Pagkaganda-ganda. Iyan po ang aming pong laboratory ay laboratory ni nung pumunta po ako doon habang dinidesign, dinidesign din niya po yung laboratory ng Ateneo High School. Nag-open na po kasi ang Ateneo ng co-ed. May babae na yung senior high. And when I went there, I was ordering for the installation. Yung tinatapos niya is, so we have the same laboratory. It's a multi-million laboratory. Amen. Palapakan niyo naman po ang Panginoon. As far as God is concerned, it's already done. Kaya po nung Friday, inspection po namin, wala pong sinabi ang DepEd kundi, ah, hu, pagpunta niya po dun sa aming sa aming hall, sa aming performing arts room is also the chapel. It's worth 7 million. Wow. Yung dalawang tatlong love, it's worth 1.7 million. Ay, ilang million talaga. No? Ayaw ni Lord. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, ayaw ni Lord manghiram ka. Ang iniisip lang natin ito eh. Amen. Kasi gusto ko nang ma-approve eh. Pero sabi ni Lord, align with me. Even our failure, God will use para ma-hit natin yung divine assignment natin. Malungkot ako nun, pero sabi ko siguro, may purpose ang Panginoon. Si meron po tayong divine assignment. Sabi po agad ni Dr. Tronco, yung ating sa buong Makati, sabi niya, May I ask all the principals to conduct our meeting here? Oh, sikat yung school ko. Amen! Eh, pwede ba daw doon mag-meeting yung buong Makati? Kasi ang amin pong upuang isang ganyan is theater. 5,000 isang upuan. Wow! Amen! Wow talaga, no? So yung nagdi-design-design ako doon, nung nagdi-design-design ako doon, sabi ko, Lord, two floors na lang, dapat five floors to. Pero the Lord is good. Amen? So ang saya-saya ko po nung Friday, nung Thursday, na naglalakad po kami. Because God has already finished it. Kailangan lang hakbangan ko. Kailangan makita ko yung nakita ng Diyos para sa eskwelahan. Kailangan makita natin yung nakita ng Diyos sa anak natin. Huwag mong tingnan yung anak mo sa nakikita mo. At kung may nakikita kang hindi tama, ituwid mo. Pagsi ang number one call ng mga parents, train up a child. Train means paulit-ulit hanggang di niya makuha ulitin niya. Training. Train up a child. Kaapun po, sabi ko, it's high time for Ziki and Max would know how to take down notes habang may nagpipreach. Kasi ayoko na yung naggagawa sila habang may nagpipreaching eh. The Lord called my attention. Sabi niya, tingnan mo yung mga anak mo. Sabi ko, history maker eh, no? Dapat walang nasasayang na salita ng Diyos. Pag umupo sila dyan, they are trained to listen to the Word of God. They are not trained to play while the Word is being delivered. Ah, you are training respectful children. So binigyan ko po sila. O, pakinggan nyo itong preaching, ah, nag-play ako. Mami, 0.16 na po ako, sabi ni Makati. Tingin nga, Oh, tama. Ikaw. <laughs> so, yun po, may training po sila how to take down notes ng preaching. Amen? Parents, but dito wala nag amen? Sabi nga ganun, train your children or they will give you grief. Ako po pinakamatindi training sa amin kasi dati po kong pasaway daming palo. Wala akong naaalala sa amin tatlong magkapatid. Akong pinakamaraming palo. 
Kaya marami na akong pagpapala. Kasi marami akong palo. Biro mo ayaw kong pumasok. Meron ba kayong anak na ayaw pumasok? Ayaw ko. Yes. Ba, wow, talaga? Hmm, may anointing yan. Ayaw ko pong pumasok. At yung abakada po, iniiba ko. Pag abakada, zeza, zaza. Nasaro ko yung nanay ko. Hmm, baka na. Inulit na naman, bakada eh. Ayusin ko na nga, masakit eh. Tapos nung papasok na sa school, ayo Kasi magbibihis eh. Maliligo, ayoko maligo. Ayoko maligo, ayoko magsuklay. Nung bato gusto ko nasa kalsada. Gusto ko maglaro. Tapos at, eto ko ngayon, principal. Aba, kung hindi ako kinutongan ng nanay ko, hindi ako magiging principal. Ha? O si Sarah pala sa the school ko mag-aaral. Amen? Buti nilang kinutongan ako ng lola niya noon. Amen? But ayun ang mga anak niyo, anak natin. Say amen. amen! Praise the Lord! Ano to? You're born for a purpose. So my purpose will stand and I will do that. Ang mga parents na walang vision sa anak, hinahayaan lang ang anak. Parang isa lang nag-amen. Sabi ng anak ko sa akin. Hmm. May pinapagawa ka, nakasimangot yung anak mo, di ba? Hmm. You're the quadrillion strictest mom. Biro mo yan. The quadrillion strictest mom daw ako. E eh, di ba magpe-presidente ka? I don't like anymore. I'll be a businessman. It's so hard to be a president. Look at Duterte. Sabi niya, gaya ayaw niya na daw. Dati presidente. Dati soldier. Ngayon, sabi niya, Mami, magsisinger na lang ako. When the night changes. Mas madali daw yun. It will never. Mami, can I apply uh, sa X-Factor? Oh, talaga. Wala ka pang ipin. Hindi pa lumalabas yung isa mong ipin eh. Pag lumabas na, sabi ko. Pero mo, from president, businessman, nahirapan, kakanta na lang daw. <laughs> Pogi naman daw siya. So pwede na, sabi ko. Huwag nang naman ganyan, anak. Sabi ko ganyan. You were born for a purpose. So pag tinanong ako ng anak ko, What is your purpose? To be your mom. I will be the best mom. I may not be a be the best in math, best in calculus, but I will be a best mom. Amen? 11.30 na naglalaba pa ako, mga kapatid. You know why? Paglinggo, tapos ang labada. After ng preaching, mamaya plancha. Yung mga anak ko maayos ang damit. I don't make excuses na ako nagtatrabaho, madumi ang bahay. No. Amen. Sindele, ituloy na natin. Nagagalit ba ako? Next. Basahin po natin. I'm created for an assignment. Nakikita niyo po ito. Naku, sorry na ano. This is a picture po. Nagkaroon po ng study ang mga scientists sa Northwestern California. Tiningnan po nila yung mga sperm. Alam niyo po yung in vitro fertilization. Yung... Ini-inject po yung semen kasi hindi na pwede. Parang si Belo, di ba, may snow. Ganun po yung ginawa. In-inject. So, sa isang injection po, there are 500 million sperm. That's an average of 500 million. Mag-uunahan po sila. Can you imagine 500 million tayo? Ilan lang ba tayo ngayon? Kaya ang buong Pilipinas, ilang million lang? A bil... 100 million times 5 ng buong Pilipinas ang sperm. Ang dami. Nakita po ng mga scientists yung sperm na nakaka-penetrate sa ovum, nagla-light up. You know, may light yan eh. May 2016 experiment. Yung sperm na nakaka-penetrate, nagla-light up. Let there be Light. And sabi ng mga Christian scientists, it's a case for the soul. Sabi ng Lord, oh, 500 million. 
Sabi sa Psalm 139, Your eyes have seen my unformed substance, and in your book were all written the days that were ordained for me, when as yet there was not one of them. Nakita na ng Diyos parang ang iyong unformed body. 500 million kapatid, ikaw yung tinuro ng Panginoon. Sabi niya, siya ang mananalo. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Times five, times five ng population ng Pilipinas, kapatid. But the Lord said sa 500 million na yon, He chose kung sino yung bibigyan niya ng light. At alam niyo po sa in vitro fertilization, hindi po nila inaano yung walang light, yung walang glow, yung mahina ang glow. Kasi defective daw yon. Yung nagla-light, So, ibig sabihin, binigyan ka ng light ng Panginoon because He has a purpose for you. You are a winner even before we were born. I don't care ano po ang condition ng pagkakapanganak natin. We are nasa wedlock, out of luck, south luck, west luck. Wala po yan sa Panginoon. Pinili ka niya. Kasi kung di ka niya pinili, wala ka. Lahat po, na, kaya we are against abortion. And may the senators hear me. <laughs> And the world hear me. Because you're terminating the gift of God to the world. Pag may nilaglag kang bata, nilalaglag mo ang pangarap ng Panginoon sa mundong ito. Nilalaglag mo ang may solusyon sa isang problema. Because when you were born, God brought a solution to the world. When I was born, God is bringing a principal. Amen. A pastora. Amen. At a mother. And many, many other things to come. Because I'm only 46. I will still do great, great things. More than I have accomplished. Amen. Ne, ito po sandali. Ruwak. Ayan po yung ruwak, naniniwala po ako nung nabasa ko yan sa scientific article. That is the ruwak. That is the breath of God. And man became a living soul. Naging buhay yan. Nagmultiply yan. Because God gave the breath, the ruwak. And that is not the breath ng bad breath. That is the breath of the living God. That is the image of God. We have the DNA of God. You know, God has no problem with the fish and the bird. They are built in for success. Pero nung gagawin ang man, nag-meeting po sila. Na- napakinggan ko po sa isang pastor, sabi, nag-meeting sila. Proverbs 19.21 Sabi, God takes the counsel. Yung meeting na yun is a counsel, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Pag binigyan natin to ng will, baka mag sa atin. Kasi ang fish, hindi niya sasabing, ayoko ko lumangoy, ayoko. Sabi ni Nemo, ayoko lumangoy, ay lumalangoy pa rin siya, ayoko lumangoy. Pero ang tao, pag ginawa natin to na may will, baka mag sa atin. Sabi ng Father God, sabi ng Holy Ghost, oo nga, no? anong gagawin natin? Sumagot po si God the Son. Anong sabi po ni God the Son? I will lay my life for them. So that even when they fail, they will still be successful. Kaya sabi sa book of Revelation, Behold the Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. Mga kapatid, walang mahirap sa Diyos. Kahit pinili mong tumalikod sa Kanya, binigyan ka na niya ng solusyon. Kasi gusto niya, the reason why you were born for will be accomplished. God is a God of accomplishments. Sabi niyo, accomplishments. Lakasan natin, accomplishments. Isa pa, accomplishments. Nalala ko sabi sa Bible, the glory of the grandfather is the grandchildren. Amen? Kaya bakit may mga lolo dito gusto ko na magkaanak? Di ba? Kasi tingnan mo yung mga apo ko. Naks. Kaya yung nanay ko, ganyan eh. Yung mga apo ko. Oh. 
Pag sinabing, mayaman ka ba? Mayaman ako. Tingnan mo mga apo ko. Amen? Sorry, wala akong iba may example eh. Wala naman ako iba nanay dito. <laughs> Forgive me. No? Because the glory nasa kanila na lahat ng pinasa mo sa anak mo, nakikita mo na sa iyong mga apo. Dahil marami tayong lola dito, kaya po sinasabi ko sa yan, sa, sa ang preaching na po na iyan. Sabi niya ganun, The diligent lays up treasures for his children's children. Sorry lang po, hindi ko maano, but in my, ano, sabi ganun, you lay up treasures for your children's children. Hindi lang po physical yan, material yan. Kundi yung spiritual, emotional, psychological. My children has, uh, they have never met my father. Pero kilalang kilala po nila ang tatay ko. Di ba sabi ni Lolo Jesse, hindi naman nila nakilala. Di ba sabi ni Lolo Jesse, Kasi po lahat ng tinuro sa akin ng tatay ko. Pagkain namin na munggo, alam mo ba nak, sabi ni Lolo, itong pinakamasustansyang pagkain. Kasi yung munggo may protein, yung dilis may posporus, tapos yung ampalaya, yan yung gamot sa liver. Kaya kahit kung munggo na every Friday munggo. Kayo rin ba? Friday munggo? Kala ko ako lang yun. Di ba? So, Tinuro po yan ng tatay ko. At sabi niya, lagi kang umiti. Yan, ngingiti ka. Kasi smile blesses people. And a smile is a gift. It opens its way to the giver. Tanungin mo, bakit madalang ang pagpapala sa'yo? Baka lagi ka nakasimang. So you've practiced nga. Napapractice po yan. Kaya nung nag-online po ako, required sa amin may salamin. Kasi we have to see ourselves smiling. Oh, hello. Because if you don't smile, your voice doesn't sound good. So you have to smile. And you have to see yourself smile. Yeah. Hello. Wala ka namang kausap. No, kausap doon. Pero nakasmile ka. Next slide. Your divine assignment. Yeah. Is your work out your gift? Is your life call? Ano na ba yan? 1.43 a.m. na kasi. No? <laughs> your divine assignment is your life call. Sabihin nyo nga, life call. Hindi po ibig sabihin yan yung trabaho natin. Maaring yung life call natin, praise the Lord, related sa trabaho natin. Pero hindi po lahat ng trabaho natin related yung life call natin. Minsan, hinaayaan ng Lord, magtrabaho ka because you will get skills necessary for your divine assignment. It doesn't mean you will live and die there in your work. That means God is training you so that when He gives you your very own company, your very own work to do, your life call, you will do it excellently. Amen? Kaya pagbutihin po natin ang trabaho natin. To work. Sabi po dito, to work. Basahin natin sa Genesis 2, 5. 1, 2, 3, go. Now, no shrub of the field was yet in the earth, and no plant of the field had yet sprouted. For the Lord God had not sent upon the earth, and there was no man to work or to cultivate it. Can you imagine the earth? Meron ng rocks, meron ng water, ba? may sina, may soil, may stars, may day, may night. Pero wala pang plants, walang animals, walang flowers. Why? God has prevented growth. Ayaw pa ng Panginoon na patubuin, hindi pa siya nag-send ng rain kasi mayroon pang nawawala. Wala pang tao. To cultivate it. And yung word po na cultivate is to perform a function. Yan po yung kinukot lagi pag nagtuturo ng stewardship. Wala pang manager. So, tinawag po ng Diyos tayo na i-manage po yung mga binigay sa atin ng Panginoon. I-manage natin ang bibig natin. I-manage natin ang stress natin. I-manage natin ang pagtulog natin. Yung iba din na natutulog ka ay FB. Online hanggang 24 hours. 
Talagang may destiny ang mga yan. Amen. Alam nyo po ba, there's a study of the most successful people. These people don't even watch TV because they're preparing for your future while you are surfing FB. Are you getting me? Time is so 